everyone, I'm back for another nail tutorial and this is a haunted window nail design. I originally wanted it to glow in the dark, but the paint wasn't strong enough to glow in the dark, so it glows under a black light at least, which I thought was pretty cool. I was hoping the windows would look a little bit like castle windows. First, I painted my nails white and then I applied Simply Peel Latex Barrier around my nails because I was going to sponge on some polishes and I wanted to protect my finger. It makes cleanup so much easier. I use the non-latex sponge because those are a little bit more porous and give a better gradient in my opinion. So first I dabbed on China Glaze's yellow polka dot bikini and fresh paint guava on the top of the sponge. I sort of just blended them together. When I was happy with how it blended, I dabbed it all on my nail. I dabbed on two layers. I had to wait for the Simply Peel to dry and it'll sparkle when it's completely dry. For this design, I decided to try a new brand of acrylic paints, which I found at Target. I've been really liking them so far. I like this paint a little bit better because it has a satin finish instead of a matte finish. For each of the fingers, I decided to paint a silhouette of something kind of creepy. For my ring finger, I decided to paint a black cat. So I painted the tail and then I used a smaller brush to paint the ears. For my middle finger, I decided to paint some sort of creepy ghost type creature. I'm not really sure what it was, but it was inspired by something I saw at the grocery store actually on one of the Halloween displays. I wanted to make it look like its arms were out and it was wearing some sort of a cape thing. Hopefully it looks creepy enough. For my pointer finger, I painted a jack-o'-lantern. To make the eyes even, I painted a line across the middle of the jack-o'-lantern so that they would be level. For the cat, I wanted to paint some eyes, so I painted some white dots and then I used that same china glaze polish to paint the eyes. I forgot to film that after I finished the characters, I applied a quick dry top coat and let it completely dry before painting the next part. So I took some gray acrylic paint and I painted the bottom of the window straight across kind of like a French tip manicure and then I outlined the rest of my nail with that same gray paint. Then I took my striping brush and I painted a line across the middle of my nail and then I marked off where I wanted two more lines for the window to go across. I blocked the camera as usual. Sorry folks. As you can see I made a little bit of a mistake there but since I used a quick dry top coat first before applying that you can actually chip off the acrylic paint with a toothpick. How cool is that? So I took some black acrylic paint and I started to kind of roughly outline some bricks to make it look like stone. Guys, it kind of looks like my little paintbrush is getting tired on me. This was a bit of a marathon paint session. I just continued to paint more bricks on the bottom. You can make them any size you want. You don't even have to do this part. I just wanted to make it look a little bit more like castle walls. Again, since I got carried away there, I chipped away that same paint with that toothpick. I love this trick. This is the best thing ever. Then I took some light gray acrylic paint and I highlighted the bricks just to add a little bit of extra dimension. I just really wanted them to be able to look like bricks from far away. I think it really helped a lot actually.
So once I was happy with that, I cleaned that up. And then I applied a layer of the Jealous Advanced Nail Gel Coat to protect my manicure. But you should really wait for everything to be completely dry because I damaged the bottom of my manicure there. Being impatient. Then I applied a matte top coat because I didn't want them to be shiny under a black light. And here is the finished design. I hope you guys liked it. Please feel free to follow me on any of my social media and subscribe to my channel to keep up with more nail tutorials. Thanks for watching!